All right, so there are four key topics you'll need to think about when deploying Tableau Server within your organization, and we'll cover them in this session. First, planning for your upgrade. Upgrades are more successful when you have the right information at your fingertips and are executing your plan. Second, blue-green and in-place upgrade paths. We'll talk about the differences between these approaches to help you decide which works for your deployment. Third, common pitfalls and basic troubleshooting. Based on guidance from our technical support team, we'll show you some easy mistakes to avoid and some quick ways to keep your upgrade on track. Resources and training available. What training and resources exist to help you with your deployment of Tableau Server? Upgrading takes time, and a poorly executed upgrade can result in days of unexpected downtime. By covering those key topics, I'm hoping that by the end of the session, you'll be able to efficiently and effectively plan, deploy, manage, and monitor your Tableau Server deployment. At the end of this session, we'll also be pointing you towards future and related sessions, as well as some useful links towards our professional services offerings, which could help you along the way. Tableau has a lot of great documentation to support your server upgrade, so we'll be, we'll be sharing a lot of these links in this session. Before beginning any upgrades, you want to make sure that you have a plan and have the necessary resources. For a blue-green upgrade, you will need to have another server environment to move production to. This will require making sure you have the proper hardware allocated to meet your needs. The best way to do this is to match your current environment or greater, even greater resources. Then confirm what version you're upgrading to. We recommend the most recent maintenance release of your current version and have that, version sele that selected version downloaded on all nodes. One of the first steps in upgrading is to take account of what you have already customized in your environment. Do you use a specific authentication style? Do you have custom images? What processes do you have on which node? You'll want to note this information so that you can set the new server to the same configuration. The middle of an upgrade is not the time to be making changes to your current configuration. If you need to make changes, get the new environment working first, then make changes after. Review our documentation for preparing for an upgrade to verify what configuration you need to save separately. Blue-green upgrades are a special type of upgrade approach to provide a minimal downtime, but require a knowledgeable IT team and resources to implement. These are not for every organization, but for those who are equipped to handle them, they can be the right upgrade solution. It is the most preferred upgrade method of our Tableau technical support team. This will require, however, having additional hardware to spin up a full new environment to later direct traffic to. It's also easier if you're using a load balancer or a proxy for communication to your Tableau server, as you can work with your network team to keep the same external address for Tableau server, even after switching environments. In contrast, an in-place upgrade is run on your current server environment. This is beneficial if you do not have a way to point your traffic to a new environment or don't have hardware available for a duplicate server. It will also upgrade the, server, the software without the need of restoring your data to the upgraded software. There are some limitations with this method though. An in-place upgrade do does require downtime where the server will be inaccessible. It also means that there, if there is an error in the process, it will make the server unusable until the issue is resolved. We recommend in-place upgrades for environments that have already been tested in a test server, if you do not have the ability to do a blue-green upgrade, or if you have a smaller environment where downtime is not an issue. In order to upgrade Tableau Server, it's necessary to have a license with current maintenance. If you're not sure, or if you have current maintenance, or what your Tableau Server license is, please reach out to your account manager or the customer portal. Once you have your license, it is also important to note if your server is currently using ATR for licensing. You can verify this by checking currently installed processes. If activation service is on your node, then you installed with ATR. You can also verify by running the command tsm configuration get k server authorization to run dot enabled 
If that returns true, you're using ATR. Again, if you're currently using ATR, now is not the time to change that. Changing the ATR status will require you to reinstall server, which is an easy mistake to avoid. Before ever changing a configuration on Tableau Server, it's recommended to back up Tableau Server. Before upgrading or doing a blue-green install, it is more than recommended. Please make sure to take a new backup of Tableau Server before starting this process. Even if you took one at the beginning of the week or last night, please take one so you have the most current data from your system. It will then be necessary to move that backup from the default location which for Windows is C, Program Data, Tableau, Tableau Server, Data, Tab SVC, Files, Backups, to a new location on a different drive or a different machine. This will prevent the backup file from being deleted during the upgrade. A backup of Tableau Server data does not include a backup of the configuration settings on the server. You can, however, backup the configuration settings using the TSM settings export command. On either an upgrade or a blue-green install, there will be a point where you will want to run what is called a pre-flight check. This will have Tableau check your permissions and ports to ensure that the machine has the proper settings for the upgrade or install to help reduce errors that may occur along the way. To run the pre-flight check, please see this resource that we're going to put in the Q&A chat. If you find errors in the pre-flight check, this does not mean your upgrade failed. This is your chance to fix problems before the upgrade does fail. If you see errors, search the Tableau knowledge base for tips on how to resolve the issue. There are a few common mistakes that we'd like to make sure you avoid when setting up new nodes in the cluster. First, each node needs to be able to communicate with every other node. This means the ports need to be open and host names, specifically host names and not fully qualified domain names, need to be resolvable to each node. Second, install locations need to be the same on every node. If you install to a non-default location, every node has to have Tableau Server installed on the same drive and in the same directory as the initial node. Third, coordination ensembles are not part of the topology backup. So you will need to follow the directions on Tableau's help site titled Deploy a Coordination Service Ensemble, and you will likely want to make note of which nodes you have it on currently using TSM Topology List Nodes V on your original server, as suggested in the Perform a Full Backup and Restoration page under Backup Assets that Require a Manual Process. After the upgrade, you will need to start the Tableau server either using the UI or through the command line. Once Tableau server has started, verify all processes have started successfully. If not, try another Tableau server start without stopping and see if that starts the remainder of the services. Once all of the services are up and running, verify that all your data is there and Tableau is accessible. If data does appear to be missing, try running TSM maintenance reindex search. When doing an in place upgrade, there should be no need to restore from a backup. However, if something went wrong and you needed to do a clean install or data is missing, you may need to restore from the backup. If you use TSM settings export described in the perform a full backup and restoration page, then now is the time to import those settings. Because host names are included as part of the topology, you will likely need to use the config only option when running TSM settings import. Note that TSM does not give any feedback that the import was a success, that's normal. Remember, some items may not be available like logo customizations and some authentication information. Please see the perform a full backup and restoration page under Backup Assets That Require a Manual Process for an exhaustive list of these exceptions. If you need to set up your Tableau Server topology manually, which is most likely, now is the time. You can add and remove server processes from the TSM GUI interface under the Configuration tab. 
A restore can error to a few root issues, such as available disk space, permissions, timing out, or an issue with the backup. Hopefully throughout these steps we have taken, steps to eliminate most of these possibilities, but it's always good to go back and double check. Our error message may also be specific and give directions on how to solve it or have a publicly available knowledge base article for the issue. We'll discuss using and finding these in a little bit. If the restore fails, make sure that the Tableau server is stopped prior to starting the restore. Try restarting the machines, and if possible, take a new backup of the old machine and attempt to restore it to ensure that it was not a backup issue. The verify during the backup should rule that out before this becomes an issue, though. If you're using the blue-green path, you'll need to restore your backup. But you may also need to do this if something goes wrong with any install. This is why it's critical to have a backup in a secure location. In essence, we will have to copy the TS back file to the default backup location. To find out where that directory resides, you can use TSM configuration get dash K base file path dot backup restore. Once it's in the right place, it's time to restore. On the command line, run TSM stop, and then run TSM restore dash dash file and the file name. Finally, if everything goes well, you can restart Tableau server with TSM start. Once it's done, you can verify that Tableau server is in a running state and that you can log in and all your content is there. After the restore succeeds, start the Tableau server and ensure you're able to log in and the data is there. If data appears to be missing, first try running the command tsm maintenance reindex search. Tableau server upgrades can be stressful, especially if you have a lot of custom configurations that might complicate the process. Let me give you some advice for troubleshooting issues that might come up. If there's an unexpected error during any of the information or steps we've gone through, there are a few different methods to get assistance. The first is our knowledge base. Tableau has many externally available articles for known errors with resolutions. You can find them by searching the error message on kb.tableau.com or even just Googling the error message with the word Tableau in it. This may provide a quick and readily available solution and help you get your environment up and running quicker. If you can't find anything on the KB or it does not resolve the issue, then your TAM or account manager may also have some advice or solutions. Tableau technical support is also a good option for installs issues. You can submit tickets through our webpage. When working with Tableau support, there's some information that you can gather prior to submitting a case that will help expedite the process and get to a quicker resolution. Having the following information provided on the case will give you the best results. What version of Tableau server are you on? What step are you on? Upgrade issues are different than restore issues. What operating system are you using? If you need to be routed to a Linux expert, we want to get you in the right hands quickly. Which upgrade path did you pick? And if you can include logs, that helps the technicians start investing your, investigating your issue immediately. We provided a lot of details on which logs are most helpful, but when in doubt, the more the better. We've covered a lot very quickly, so let's do a quick review of everything we discussed. We talked about planning your Tableau server upgrade, critical Tableau help resources to support you, common pitfalls and basic troubleshooting steps during upgrades, available Tableau support options. I'd like to leave you with a couple additional resources as well. If you feel like you will need more help, our services team can help you with upgrade support or additional training for server administration. We'll be dropping a link to more information in the chat. Join the Success Connector meeting point in our Tableau community to interact, ask questions, and share best practices in a dedicated community group. Join the Tableau admin virtual user group that's on our community page. Stay tuned as we will add more sessions over the coming weeks that will help you to accelerate your time to value. Best of luck with your upgrade.